Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Dental Mnemonics where learning is always smart and fun. We are again back with our Cracking Neville's Oral Pathology session and today we'll be discussing a syndrome known as Cowden syndrome also called multiple hamartoma syndrome. So let's meet the cow who goes Yes, you heard it right. So what does this moo sound remind you of? It's a clever way to recall trichelemuma, one of the classic cutaneous lesions seen in Cowden syndrome. So remember this moo sound for trichelemuma. So now let's count the number of cows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So there were 10 cows grazing in the field and this number it is not just a random number. It helps you remember that Cowden syndrome is associated with a mutation in the P10 gene which has been mapped to chromosome number 10. So 10 cows means P10 mutation and mapped on chromosome number 10. So since Cowden syndrome is one of the conditions caused by P10 mutation, let's relate the other condition with our cow as well. So we know that cow gives us beef, but in South Asian countries like Nepal and India, cows are considered holy animals and eating beef is forbidden. So these cows, since they are sacred, they rest under the sacred tree called the banyan tree. So B in the beef and the banyan tree, we can relate it with Banayan Riley Rubalcaba syndrome. I know it's a mouthful, but this can be helpful for your MCQ. Whenever you relate the word like Banyan, just remember the sacred holy cow resting under the sacred Banyan tree. So one condition is Banayan Riley Rubalcaba syndrome. And the second one, it's obvious cow in a den or cowden syndrome. So now for the next two syndrome, we know that cow gives us milk which is a rich source of protein, dairy and meat. So protein here stands for proteus like syndrome. The D in dairy is for ductless and the meat you can relate it with lermit. So protein for proteus like syndrome and dairy and meat for lermit ductless disease. So just to recall conditions associated with p10 mutation remember the sacred cow lying under the banyan tree so banyan riley rubalcaba syndrome the cowden syndrome obviously protein with proteus like syndrome and the d and meat for lormit ductless syndrome so these are all the conditions that are associated with p10 mutation so let's talk about the homeland of the cow so this cow lived in a 10 acre land Again, the number 10 reminds you of the P10 gene and the acre here represents acral keratosis. It's a warty appearing growth often seen on the dorsal surface of the hands. So this land or the den where the cow lives was located in a very popular highland. So let's decode this. Den stands for dental manifestation. Popular stands for multiple papules. We see those affecting the gingiva, dorsal tongue and buccal mucosa and the highland stands for high arch palate. So whenever we need to know about the oral manifestation of Cowden syndrome, just remember about the den where cow lived. It was located in popular highland. Den for dental manifestation, we see multiple papules and we see high arch palate and some are also associated with dental caries and periodontitis. So this is a very important image now to visualize for any Cowden syndrome presentation. So we see the cow wearing a bell on its neck. So this represents the thyroid involvement. So a patient with Cowden syndrome may present with either a goiter or thyroid adenoma or some may even develop papillary or follicular thyroid carcinoma. So the second feature is that we see the hoops on palms and soles of this cow. So in Cowden syndrome, patients may develop callus-like lesions on the palms and sole called palmoplantar keratosis. So let's talk about the stripes that we see on cow's back. So this helps us to remember that skin and mucosal lesions are common presentation in Cowden syndrome including the acral keratosis which we already discussed. Remember the 10 acre land. So now coming to the cow's milk, we already discussed that Cow's milk is a rich source of protein, dairy and meat and 
Here, the cow's milk stands for breast cancer and fibrocystic disease of the breast, which usually affects the female affected by Cowden syndrome. So we started with the moo, so now comes the poo. It's ew, right? But this helps us to remember that Cowden syndrome can also be associated with colorectal cancer and hamartomatous GI polyps. So now coming to the diagnosis of Cowden syndrome. So we knew that there was a cow and just remember where it lived and where was the location of that den. So cow, it went moo, so it stands for Pykele Mooma. The cow lived in 10 acre den, so acre stands for acrokeratosis and the location of the den was in popular highlands, so popular for multiple oral papules. So these are the three pathognomonic signs and in order to diagnose Cowden syndrome, uh, we need to have at least two of the following three pathognomonic signs. So just before we end this video, I'd like to uh, talk about this brief summary table. So first the cow went moo, the moo stands for Trichile Mooma. In total there were 10 cows, so Cowden syndrome is associated with P10 mutation mapped on chromosome number 10. And to relate it with other conditions associated with P10 mutation, like the cow is a sacred holy animal, so they like to live in Banyan tree or cow gives us beef, so the B for Banyan Riley Rubalcava syndrome. The second syndrome obvious, cow in a den, cow den syndrome. Milk, like cow's milk is a rich source of protein, protein for proteus-like syndrome. And cow's milk is rich in dairy and meat, so combining this, D, ductless meat, larmit, so larmit ductless disease. And the cow lived in 10 acre land, so one of the presentation was acrokeratosis and the cow's den was located in a very popular highland so den for dental manifestation popu popular for papules and high for high arch palate so these are the dental manifestations and the cow was wearing a bell around its neck which stood for thyroid cancer or thyroid goiter and adenoma and hooves on its palms and soles stands for palmoplantar keratosis the stripes on the cow's back, it stands for skin or mucosal lesions like acrokeratosis and cow gives us milk which stands for breast cancer or fibrocystic changes in the breast and we started with the moo and we are ending it with a poo so associating it with colorectal cancer and GI polyp. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this visual and story based mnemonic on Cowden syndrome. It's fun, it's memorable and more importantly, it makes learning medicine feel easy. So if you want more easy mnemonics to remember any lesions, not just in oral pathology, but any part of dentistry, don't worry, we are here for you. So just comment down below with the topic you would like a mnemonic on and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Dental Mnemonics for more exciting content. Till then, goodbye. And remember, a moo a day keeps the Cowden syndrome forgetting away.